breaking news everybody about the fourth stimulus check and the bill that was just approved in Congress. You want to be sure to stay until the end of this video to find out more information on this. Lawmakers in Congress have finally passed the $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill. And now, Nancy Pelosi has decided to put President Biden's bill on hold. Barreling ahead with a vote on the bipartisan infrastructure bill today without a vote on that bigger social spending package. Now, that infrastructure vote was supposed to be happening right about now, but it's been pushed back because progressives are not on board with this plan of splitting up the bills. They said they would rather vote on both of them later than just vote on infrastructure today and wait on the bigger social spending package later. Now, ultimately, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, just speaking to reporters, said that she does believe many progressives will vote for the infrastructure bill once it is on the floor. And Democratic leadership says that they are confident that they will be able to pass that social Social spending package. Democrats have not been able to come together at all. And unless they do, President Biden's promises could collapse. And now the time has come. Tonight, House Democrats say they will, are finally set to vote on the bipartisan infrastructure bill. The latest announcement after months of negotiations, infighting, delays, and growing pressure to at long last deliver on President Biden's agenda. Speaker Nancy Pelosi has been racing against the clock to whip up enough votes. Her original plan was to pass infrastructure and the massive social spending package today before all of the House leaves for recess tonight. But she had to delay the vote on the social spending mega bill. And that is not sitting well with progressives in her caucus. They are at this moment a lot of moving pieces. We made the determination that getting a commitment to this larger package, frankly, um, was, uh, was absolutely important, that we wanted to make sure we had the votes for immigration, for, for um, pharmaceutical drug pricing, for paid leave, uh, all the things that are in this package. And we also made the determination that um, the country needs to continue to move forward. And so we feel like we got the best of all worlds. We got a commitment on um, this vote, which, and, and every single one of those individuals looked us in the eyes and said they are voting for it. Finally, infrastructure week. <laughs> I'm so happy to say that, infrastructure week. <laughs> Folks, yesterday, I don't think it's an exaggeration to suggest that we took a monumental step forward as a nation. We learned that our economy created 5.6 million jobs since we took office on January 20th, reached an unemployment rate of 4.6 percent, two full years earlier than the vast majority of economists projected that would happen. And we've just, we're just getting started. We did something uh, that's long overdue, that long has been talked about in Washington, but never actually been done. The House of Representatives passed the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. That's a fancy way of saying a bipartisan infrastructure bill. A once-in-a-generation investment that's going to create millions of jobs, modernize their infrastructure, our roads, our bridges, our broadband, and a whole range of things, to turn the climate crisis into an opportunity. And it puts us on a path to win the economic competition of the 21st century that we face with China and other large countries and the rest of the world. It's going to create more jobs, good-paying jobs, union jobs that can't be outsourced, and they're going to transform our transportation system with the most significant investments in passenger rail, the most significant investment in 50 years, in roads and bridges, the most significant investment in 70 years, and more investment in public transit than we've ever, ever made. In fact, Biden is now moving forward with new social spending bills, and lawmakers have proposed several bills they can provide Americans with more stimulus relief. The great news everybody, more stimulus checks could be on the way, so you want to be sure to stay until the end of this video to find out more information on this. And don't forget that this Friday, I will be announcing one winner of another $300 Amazon gift card. Early this week, I already announced the winner of a free $300 Amazon gift card. So if you want to enter next week's giveaway for a $300 Amazon gift card, then be sure to subscribe and share this video with your friends and family. So Joe Biden saluted a monumental step forward as a nation. That's after House Democrats finally reached agreement and sent a trillion dollar infrastructure package to his desk to be signed. There was also a setback however, as Democrats postponed a vote on an even larger bill. 
That is a 10-year, $1.85 trillion spending plan to bolster health, family, and climate change programs. Biden to reporters, the House representatives passed the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. And that's called the Infrastructure Bill. It's a once-in-a-generation investment that's going to create millions of jobs. Plus, the House approved the $1 trillion bill after Democrats resolved a month-long standoff between progressives and centrist Democrats. The measure passed 228 to 206. 13 Republicans, mostly moderates, supported the bill, while six progressive Democrats opposed it. Among them was Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Biden said he would not sign the bill this weekend because he wanted those who passed it to be there when he did. The postponement of the bill dashed hopes of a double win. So the agreement in which lawmakers promised to vote by the week of November 15th was a significant step forward towards shipping the bill to the Senate. Its chances there are not certain and it must pass on to the cast onto the casting vote of Kamala Harris and with the approval of Joe Manchin and Cinema. And now parents who qualify for the advanced child tax credit payments can still sign up. Time is running out. People have until the November 15th deadline to sign up for advanced payments. The fourth child tax credit payment was due to hit bank accounts on October 15th, and there are still two payments coming. They give eligible households who opted in up to 50% of the total credit that they, could, that they would get for their child tax for their child on a tax return and six advance payments. According to reports from Forbes, those who sign up will still get the full advance payment for 2021. Households claim the other half when they file their 2021 income tax returns. Advance child tax credits expire at the end of the year, but the Biden administration hopes to renew them through 2025. Biden and Biden's now $1.85 trillion plan to boost social and education programs, as well as protect against global warming continues to be fine-tuned by Democrats in Congress. That's with a new goal of completing work before Thanksgiving. One provision, tens of millions of American families likely want to know whether the expanded child tax credit is going to be implemented into 2022. As part of the crisis relief bill, Democrats increased the tax credit to $3,000 per, per child 6 to 17. The provision is still in the bill, at least for one more year. Thank you again for your support, everybody. I truly appreciate it. On a bipartisan vote, the House approved a $1.5 trillion infrastructure bill, 228 to 206. 13 Republicans voted yes, six Democrats voted no. This came after the president worked the phones all day. He also called into a meeting of progressive members. There was a truce between liberal and moderate Democrats who held up the bill throughout the day. We need to get both bills done. We've always said we need to get both bills done. And tonight we have an agreement that will get both bills done. We're gonna trust each other because the Democratic Party is together on this. We are united that it is important for us to